Okay, um, the sunlight is hitting this just right, so I thought I would do a video on it while it's nice and lit up. This is, um, one of my crested gecko tanks. It's an 18 by 18 by 24 exoterra, and it has, uh, two female crested geckos in it. This is one of them. This is, um, Tonks. I actually woke her up just so you guys can see one of the inhabitants. I'm going to put her back on a plant when I'm done shooting this video. But, um, as you can see, I have lots of vegetation, um, plant here, plant in the corner where Tonks was sleeping, a plant, um, in this corner where Faye is actually sleeping. I'll see if I can bring the camera around so you guys can take a peek at her. You see her? She's right there sleeping. She's all twisted up and contorted, but that's how they like to sleep. They squeeze themselves into little tiny places so they feel secure. But, uh, I've got, um, are you going to jump, Tonks? Because this door isn't open. She's a good girl. She's one of my best Cresteds. Very unflappable. Um, but as you can see, I've got stuff to climb on. This is a fish tank decoration, a vine, um, a piece of grape wood, uh, a branch that I sterilized that I got from outside. It's held up with suction cups. Um, I also have a mushroom ledge over here. They use it occasionally. You can see there's poop on it, so somebody used it as a potty. But with crested geckos, you really just want enough vegetation so that they feel secure and have um, stuff to hide in and then you want um, them to have stuff that they can climb on and exercise. I also have a ground hide. You can see um, it's, it's a little cave in the back corner. Uh, that's Faye's favorite place. She's the other female, the one that's sleeping up in that corner. Um, she sits on that cave every night. She goes down and, cr and cruises around. Um, over here is their crested gecko diet. As you can see, licked clean. And I put this in there last night, so the ladies did enjoy themselves having a meal. But uh, I feed all my geckos, well, my crusteds and my gargoyles, um, Rapashi crested gecko diet, the two part. Here's water over here. They're on coconut fiber, or um, eco earth as a bedding. And as you can see, the glass is pretty dirty <laughs> from all the misting I do, so I should probably polish up their glass one of these days. But this is Tonks. She's a great girl. Very mellow. Here, sweetie. As you can see, they do have prehensile tails. She is holding on to me with the tail. Put your foot on there. There you go. She might actually jump for the camera and go back into her corner. She is an adult crested gecko, though. She's a, a nice yellow, and her dorsal gets nice and creamy. And as you guys can see, she does have a ton of spots. So she's a yellow Dalmatian. She's been getting more spots at every shed, so she's just a gorgeous girl. Faye is an orange tiger, but she's uh, pretty curled up, so I'm not going to wake her up for this video. Maybe I'll show you guys her later. The sun was just hitting this so nice, so I thought I'd take a quick video of it. Because usually we have overcast days here in Wisconsin, and I never get a chance to um, show off any of my other tanks that don't have artificial lighting. Because, uh, as you can see, there's no heat lamp, there's no heat pad, um, the Cresteds like to be kept at room temperature. Uh, temps above 80 are real stressful. Uh, they don't like a lot of heat. Basically, they just like a lot of humidity. Right around um, 75 is a perfect temperature for, gr uh, for Cresteds and gargoyles. So, let me see. I'm reading about 80% humidity right now, and I know the room temp is um, right around 76 degrees, so your tail is still curled up girly. She's probably mad because I woke her up. Here, I'll put her back on her plant. As you can see, she's 
a very sweet girl. She doesn't mind being woken up. I've never been bitten. Uh, she's never gaped at me. It's um, a great starter gecko. Uh, if you don't like feeding live food because these guys don't have to have any bugs, you can give them crickets occasionally um, as a, like a treat. Uh, she had some the other night just for kicks because I know she likes them. Some of my Cresteds won't even eat crickets. Um, they just turn their noses up and run away. So I don't buy them as often just because I really can't get people to eat them. But this is my tank. So um, I really do like the Exoterras for the Crested Geckos. It's, it's like the perfect tank. But here you have it. Nice sunny Monday morning. There's my Crested Girls.